Good evening and welcome to Monday Compline with the Vicar and Teddy Bear. Let's have a moment of quiet as we begin, shall we? My, O oh Christ, Son of the Living God, may your holy angels guard our sleep. May they watch over us as we rest and hover around our beds. Let them reveal to us in our dreams visions of your glorious truth. O oh High Prince of the Universe, O oh High Priest of the Mysteries. May no dreams disturb our rest and no nightmares darken our dreams. May no fears or worries delay our willing, prompt repose. May the virtue of our daily work hallow our nightly prayers. May our sleep be deep and soft, so our work be fresh and hard. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. My dear ones, O oh God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Into your hands I commit my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I make the cross of Christ upon my breast, over the tablet of my hard heart, and I beseech the living God of the universe, may the light of lights come to my dark heart from thy place. May the Spirit's wisdom come to my heart's tablet from my Saviour. Excuse me. And our reading for this evening is Luke sixteen, verse ten. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. This evening, are you frustrated with a small scope of your lot? Do you wish for opportunities of greater responsibility and reward? Your present situation may be limited. God, however, is given it as an investment in your future. Were you to have all the success you desire, you may have found yourself ill-equipped to handle it. Worse, you might have missed the greatest gift of all, a fulfilling relationship with God. <coughs> In your current circumstances, God is able to teach you what is truly valuable and build the character necessary for success. Therefore, faithfully invest yourself in whatever God gives you and soon he will trust you with even greater opportunities. Matthew 25, verse 23 says, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Christ without sin, Christ of wounds, I'm placing my soul and my body under thy guarding this night. Christ of the poor, Christ of tears. Thy cross be my shielding this night, O thou son of tears, of the wounds, of the piercing. I'm going now into the sleep, albeit in thy dear arms keep, O God of grace, that I shall awake. And a short prayer as we move into a time of quiet. Dear God, please help me to fa be faithful with 
little so that you can eventually trust me with more. Thank you for investing in my success. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. My Christ, my Christ, my shield, my encircler, each day, each night, each light, each dark. Be near me, uphold me, my treasure, my triumph. Circle me, Lord, keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord, keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, keep peace within and evil out. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me at the beginning of another week. Please do take care of yourselves and those around you. And let's keep on praying for all those places in this world that are so troubled, especially at this moment, the Ukraine. Good night and God bless you.